Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new firearm from X-Tar. X-Tar is widely known as the 9mm EP9 sub gun and the newer 45 ACP sub gun, but now they came out with a 9mm carbine called the EP9 carbine and they did a fine job. When X-Tar came out with the carbine, they did some things different. Well, obviously they made it rifle length with a 16 inch black nitride barrel and a black nitride bolt. The bolt was recalibrated, added additional mass to it to accept the pressure with the longer barrel. So X-Tar does pay attention to detail. The stock is adjustable. It has this lever here, move it forward, back, wherever you want it, about five adjustments. It's a little bit finicky there, brand new. Same X-Tar grip and also the same 18 round magazines from X-Tar. They are Glock pattern mags, larger Glock mags will work with this. It has AR light controls with the bolt, uh, bolt release, thumb safety, magazine release. Everything that you love about the X-Tar EP9 is right here with the carbine with the longer barrel and adjustable stock. It also has a pick rail that goes all the way across, polymer 8 inch handguard with M lock slots, additional texturing right there. When you grip this, it really forms to the hand. That texturing doesn't look like much, but it actually is. M lock slots on the bottom for a hand stop. This is what I would use it for. Not sure I mentioned the barrel is threaded in case you want to run a can and it's a side charger. All right, I have a Vortex strike fire here. I moved the strike fire a little up on the rail to make room for the side charger because this has that, that bolt right there. Works fine. Love the X-Tar firearms. I love that 45, the EP45. That thing is great. Let's go ahead and take a few shots with this. Safety off. Nice. You get more stability with a rifle than the, the sub guns, you just do. And I feel complete control. If you love nine millimeter, you may be one of those guys that want uh, ammo compatibility with Glock mags, you, you get that with the EP9 carbine. X-Star is known for producing delayed blowback system, makes it for soft shooting, being that this is primarily polymer. It's very lightweight with the handguard, the lower receiver, even the rail, it's polymer, very lightweight. And the magazines, I mentioned it, but they have been proven to me to be very reliable in 18 rounds. There's a look at the stock. I think it looks cool. It has a rubber base pad right there. I mentioned the grip is the same as the other ones and the AR light controls. Very easy to handle. I notice when I shoot the X-Star sub guns and this EP9 carbine, it is very smooth. very smooth shooting. Nine millimeter doesn't offer a lot of recoil as it is. However, being that it's such a lightweight gun, easy to tote around, it is extremely smooth. And so far it has been very reliable. And I'm expecting that because X-Star is not new to the game. They've been around a while. They know what they're doing. A lot of fans out there. And when they made the Gen 2 EP9, I thought it was great. They took all of that made even a stronger EP9 carbine. So if you're a fan of nine millimeter and you like the carbines, they now have it, MSRP 449. Can you believe that? 449 for this nine millimeter carbine. You compare that with some of the competition out there, it's about three to $400 less money. Wow, it was just a downpour. Anyhow, the EP9 carbine, excellent. Nine millimeter carbine made by X-Star. 
pretty happy with it so far. It's fed, fired, and ejected everything. That delayed blowback system really softens the shot. And I find myself more accurate with this than the little sub guns, which stands to reason with that nice stock and the 16 inch barrel. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.